fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. come from over ridge. That many can only mean one thing, Tonto. Trouble. Rain in. Whoa! You, throw your gun away and come down here. You wouldn't be doing this if I still had my gun. Oh, you got her scared. <laughs> Real scared. Keep your eye on her. Right. Now you pull down that strong buck and be quick about it. You no good. Hey, what are you so upset about? It's not your goal. Come on. Open the box. I'll keep him covered. Here, put the gold in here. Come on, come on, hurry it up. We've got to get out of here. Come hurry. doesn't mean I'm an outlaw. Oh, you're hurt. That's nothing. Oh, Judd, they shot him. And the sheriff, he was riding shotgun. The sheriff is dead. My Indian friend is back with your driver. Maybe go back to him? Of course. Sure glad to see you're safe, Miss Terry. Oh, you're right, Judd. It's nothing, just a scratch. Him plenty lucky. Bullet only cut scalp. I guess this robbery just about put your father out of business. Them low-down murdering skunks. Uh, look like you hurt. It should be looked after. Thank you. This sure beats everything. A masked man and an Indian helping us instead of trying to rob us. How does this robbery affect your father? My father, Tom Harding, owns a gold mine, the Carolyn. Most every time we have a gold shipment to make, the stage is attacked and robbed. Well, isn't your father insured against these losses? He was, but there have been so many holdups, no one will assume the risk now. Has anyone else been affected by these robberies? Yes, Mr. Fulton. He owns a mine right next to my father's. He's lost so much, he's closed his mine, and now he's trying to sell it. I see. Mr. Fulton says a man is crazy to try and run a business in a territory where outlaws are able to rob and kill as they please. Has your father ever thought of selling out the mine? Dad's a rather stubborn person. 
He says he's not going to be run out of business by a bunch of hold-up men. I admire his determination. There, well, that should be all right. Well, thank you. I guess we'd better be getting back, Miss Terry. No, no, I think you'd better drive the stage into town. Are uh, you trying to follow a trail of hold-up men? Yes. I'll meet you later at Indian Rock. I mean, no place. Thank you for saving my life. got the gold, if that's what you mean. Anyone see you come here? Now, why do you think we came in the back way? You said you didn't want anybody in town to see us. Where's Pete? Oh, dead. Well, you had trouble then. Oh, he's dead. The important thing is we've got the gold. Look, you tell us what stages you want held up, we do it. Gunman for hire, that's us. <laughs> for a price, of course. Tell him about the masked man and the Indian. A masked man and an Indian? Yeah, a masked man on a white horse and an Indian. They came along while we were holding up the stage. Was that Indian riding a paint? Yep. Did you cover your trail good before you came here? Like, of course. What are you so touchy about? Do you happen to know who that masked man and Indian are? No. Well, I think I do. Is that the Indian? Uh, yeah, that's him. You two stay here. got a scratch on my head. I didn't lose my whole scalp. What happened? The stage was held up and the sheriff killed. That's what happened. Oh, it's terrible. I know what a blow the loss of this shipment will be to your father, Miss Harding. There's a chance of it being recovered, Mr. Fulton. Uh -huh. A friend of this Indian is trying to follow the trail of the holdup man. Well, do you know the man who's going to do this for you? Well, no, but he did save my life. I see. What's your name, Indian? Me, Tonto. Well, I'd like to meet your friend, Tonto. Tonto is to meet him at Indian Rock. Well, since the sheriff is dead and his deputy is out of town, I'll ride to Indian Rock with Tonto. If his friend has found the hold of him, he may need help. Well, I'll come along, too. Oh, but your father, Miss Harding. Telling him the gold has been stolen won't do any good. Yes, that's true. Well, I'll get my gun and we'll get started immediately. Excuse me. Well, I was right. I know who that masked man and Indian are. So? So? You won't be so smug when you find out you've been tangling with a lone ranger. That Indian is his sidekick, Tonto. That's not so good. No, we'll have to get rid of him. Bart, he's gonna be at Indian Rock in a little while. Get rid of the lone ranger will be a real pleasure. Yeah. You better go to the hideout afterwards. If anything comes up, I'll see you out there. cover their trail. down to make sure he's dead, Bart? I don't miss. Come on, let's get out of here. You all right, Kimasami? Yes, Tonto. Thanks to Silver. What happened? Someone must have seen my mask and mistaken me for an outlaw. Well, I'm glad whoever fired it you missed. I'm Fred Fulton, a mine owner like Miss Harding's father. Howdy, Mr. Fulton. This is my Indian friend, Tonto. Uh, how do you do? Miss Harding said you've also lost heavily from the stage holdups. Yeah, so much so I've had to close down my mine, and now I'm trying to sell out. Were you able to follow the holdup men? No, they used the riverbed to cover their trail. Oh, I was so hoping. Oh, do you intend to continue the search? 
Mr. Fulton, at the present time, there seems very little I can do. Oh, that's too bad. Well, thank you again for what you tried to do. Guess there's nothing for me to do now but break the bad news to Dad. Yes, it seems so. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, Tonto. Goodbye, miss. Sammy, you make it sound like we're not going to follow hold of men. Tano, at the present time, that's the impression I wish to leave. Oh, then outlaw's not going to hiding. That's right. You see a man who shoot at you? No, but the shot came from up among those rocks. I think we'd better check up there. Let's get mounted. Kima Sabi, we see tracks of two horses. It look like two men wait here for you. Tano, how many people knew you were going to meet me at Indian Rock? And the lady on stage and the stage driver, they know. And then lady tell men who ride out here with us. Fulton. You think it's not accident that men here? No, Tano, I don't. Unless they knew I was coming here, why would they have waited? Ah, we follow their trail? And it'll be dark soon. And on this hard ground, following their trail would be next to impossible. Ah, that's right, Kimisabi. What we do? I'd like to have a talk with Miss Harding and her father. She said they lived in Red Rim Canyon. I'll meet you back at camp later. I can't believe Fred Fulton is involved in these stage holdups. Well, I could be wrong, Mr. Harding, but certain facts indicate that he is. What makes you say that? Well, only three people knew I was going to Indian Rock. Your daughter, the stage driver, and Mr. Fulton. Yet two men were waiting there to ambush me. <laughs> Why don't you suspect Judd, then? Or my daughter? Today's holdup itself eliminates them. How? Oh. Your daughter could have been killed by a stray bullet. And Judd was lucky enough to escape with only a scalp wound. I think I understand, Dad. If either of us were involved, we wouldn't have risked our own lives. That's right, Miss Harding. Fulton, however, wasn't endangered by the holdup. And he knew where I'd be. About Fulton's losses? Well, if he's behind these holdups, the stolen gold would come right back to him. And he'd be throwing suspicion from himself. Why should he want to rob me until I was forced out of business? Tell me, Mr. Harding, has Fulton ever tried to buy your mind? No. Always oh, talked to me about selling out to the Eastern Mining Company that's interested in buying his mine. As a matter of fact, earlier tonight he told me that a representative of the company will be here tomorrow, and that I should stop by and see him. Then you are thinking of selling? Well, the way things are going now, I won't be able to meet the notes of the bank. And if they foreclose on me, I lose everything. Mr. Harding, would you be willing to help me with a plan that might catch the outlaws and perhaps recover your stolen gold? Of course. Good. Now, here's what I'd like you to do. Tomorrow morning, I'd like you and your daughter to go into town. <laughs> you know, Fulton, this suit of yours fits me real nice. Felt like a real businessman when I rode into town today with an aunt. Can't you pull yourself away from that mirror? Take it easy, Fulton. I know what I'm supposed to do. Well, you didn't do so well getting rid of the Lone Ranger. Can I help it if the horse moved? Yeah. Wait a minute. Here come the Hardings. Now, good morning, Miss Harding. Good morning. Uh, isn't your father coming in? No, he went on to the express office. Oh, I wanted him to meet Mr. Reagan, the representative of the Eastern Mining Syndicate we talked about last night. Mr. Fulton was telling me your father might be interested in selling his mine. My company might be interested in buying. Sorry, Mr. Reagan, but my father has asked me to tell you he's given up the idea of selling the Carolyn for the present. But last night, Miss Harding... After you left, he decided we'd try to keep going a little longer. I see. And you found a way to meet the note that the bank holds? If today's shipment gets through to the bank in Gallup, we can make the payment in time. Today's shipment? We're sending out every ounce of gold we had at the mine on the noon stage. Yes, well, I certainly hope that shipment goes through, Miss Harding. Thank you. Well, I must be getting back to Dad now. Glad to have met you, Mr. Reagan. Glad to have met you. Goodbye. All right, Miss Harding. Looks like your little scheme isn't working out exactly as you'd planned it, huh? Don't worry. That gold hasn't reached the bank yet. The stage doesn't leave for another 45 minutes yet. Bart, get Hank and be waiting for the stage when it gets near the river crossing. You're sure determined, aren't you? Why shouldn't I be? Owning that mine will put me on easy street for the rest of my life. 
After you get the gold, take it to my house. I'll stay here in town until after the robbery's been reported. And you'll have an alibi. Well, we're taking over. You're the getting well paid. <laughs> That's right. See you later. Yes. Kim Sammy, me see man leave Fulton's office. Him ride out of town. Good. It looks like they've taken the bait. I didn't expect to see you back so soon. Hardings are sending another gold ship into the railhead. We're to see that it doesn't get there. I better get out of these things. I don't want to be recognized. I better wait here with Silver. Take the gold after we get it. To Fulton's house, at his mine. He'll meet us there later. Fulton is behind the holdups. She comes. Shot, Kim Asabi. Come on. Throw down that strong box. Yeah, sure. Anything you say. Get the gold. Bart, the masked man, the Indian. Forget the gold. the murder in Coyote. Now I know why Mr. Harding said I was to stop and not put up any fight if the stage is attacked. I'll sure enjoy seeing these two skunks behind bars. And don't forget we still have their boss to get. Their boss? That's right, Judd. And I'll need your help to get concrete evidence against him. Just say what you want me to do, mister. Hey! Hey! The stage has been held up! The stage has been held up! Another robbery! The stage has been held up again! We got here just in time. Hank? Bart, where are you? Hank, where? Don't reach for your gun, Fulton. Hello, what? Oh, what, are you, what are you doing here? Tonto, take his gun. Oh, what? What's this all about? We captured your two gunmen, Bart and Hank. And now we're taking you in as the man behind the stage robberies. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Tonto, gather up the gold pouches. Why, I'm... 
I'm a, I'm a respectable businessman. Fulton, you don't think your two gunmen are willing to take all the blame, do you? Drop your gun, mask man, or I'll blow daylight through your Indian friend here. Me sorry, Kimasevi. All right, the other one. <laughs> so you know I was behind the stage robberies, eh? Well, I was trying for a fortune and didn't quite make it. But you haven't got me. You're wrong, Fulton. Mr. Harding, have you heard enough? Oh, you're not catching me with that old trick. Better drop that gun. Harding! Sir. Gun not loaded. But it's not loaded. You don't think Tana would be careless enough to let you get your hands on a loaded gun? Even after his confession and his hired gunman in jail, I still can't believe that Fred Fulton tried to rob me. You see, Mr. Harding, when Fulton realized that the new gold vein he discovered only started in his mind and ended up in yours, well, it was just too much for him. The return of all the stolen gold still can't make up for the loss of a friend. A price can never be placed on friendship. I don't know how we can ever repay you and Tonto. We've found two new friends. That's ample repayment. Well, I must be going now. Tonto was waiting outside. Goodbye, Miss Terry. Adios, Mr. Harding. Bye, and thanks. We owe the masked man and his friend Tonto a great deal, Terry. He's a wonderful man. So handsome, too. But who is he? He's a great American. He's the Lone Ranger. I don't feel